Hey guys, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. I know this is a big surprise. I did get a haircut. I hope you guys like it because there's no going back. Okay, I know this is not fooling anyone. You can literally see my hair right here. Okay, we know it's fake. Whatever. It's a wig, but why does it kind of go off? Like, I could see myself as a mom. I've got a few kids. I'm taking them to soccer practice. This could be my haircut. Look at this. I don't know guys, it kind of pops off. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw my post with this hair and I surprisingly tricked a lot of you guys. So many of you believed it and supported it. And that was really sweet. I honestly like it. What if I actually did this? You guys, should I just cut my hair? Should we just be impulsive and do it? Let me know down below. Okay, goodbye wig. I was feeling like causing some madness online. Sorry if I tricked you, but they do call me the prank master for a reason. It's kind of inspired me though. Let me know if I should uh, change my hair. I'm gonna think about it. I need to make some tea because what we are about to experience together is piping hot. This steamy hot tea, my friends, is what we're all about to drink together. Shall we get into it? I went on my Instagram stories and I asked you guys to ask me some juicy questions. And when I say you guys came through, you guys really want the tea. So I tried to narrow it down and get some of the best questions and I'm going to be answering them while I do my makeup. Okay, so question number one is how old were you when you had your first kiss? My first kiss was so awkward. I wonder if everyone's was as awkward as mine. Let me tell you what happened. So I was in grade nine, which means that I was 14 and I had been dating this guy, but we had never kissed. I always had those like boyfriends in elementary school and stuff and they would be like, can we kiss? And I'm like, no, I'm too too young. <laughs> but it was grade nine and I was like, it's time. Also, sorry, I'm looking in the mirror over here. Okay, so we were at my friend's house and we told each other, like, this is the day that we're gonna have our first kiss together. <laughs> he was pretty awkward and shy too, so it was hard to get to the point. But we had hung out for hours and then finally my mom was like, okay, I'm here, I'm picking you up. So I told him, okay, I'm gonna leave now. My friend is like on her Switch or Nintendo or something. She jumps behind the couch to hide to let us have our first kiss. And when I tell you, it was like this. Does that even count as a first kiss? That was my first lip to lip contact. Anyways, I broke up with him like a week or two after that because I was like, oh, I didn't feel a spark when we kissed. I was young, I didn't know any better. I thought there was gonna be fireworks going off. Okay, next question, have you ever snuck out before? I'm telling you, I was an angel child, okay? My parents told me to do something, I did it. I never disobeyed, so no, I never snuck out. Are you a relationship girly or a flings girly? Ever since I was little, I would always be in a relationship, I think. I never really had any flings. So I wanna say I'm still like that. So let's go with relationship girly. Is there a new song coming out anytime soon again? I did just drop a song like a couple weeks ago. It's called Poker Player. And it's definitely one of my favorite songs lyrically because you actually have to think about the lyrics. So if you haven't heard that, that'll be linked down below. You guys should check that out. I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. But yes, I'm always planning my next release. I have a certain song in mind. This next question, is my favorite of them all. It's simply, is your ass fat? Thank you for asking this one, it really hits deep. Yes, yes it is. Have you ever kissed more than one person in the same night? Yes, I have, one time. And we're not going into detail on that one. How old were you when you first started to make music? So I've done music since I was four. That's when I started taking piano lessons and then just from there I've always loved music. And as a kid, I would write little lyrics and songs in my little journal. None to see the light of day, but I think when I really started recording music and taking it to the next level is when I came to LA. So I think I was 13. This one's just really sweet. How are you doing mentally? Currently, I am so good. I'm not gonna lie, there was a few months where I felt pretty manic, but currently I feel back on track and I'm honestly really happy. Of course I still have my good days and my bad days, but I've learned to love the ups and the downs. Do you like toes? If you know me, you know I have a foot phobia. So absolutely not, I do not like toes. Come for me in the comments, but I sleep with socks on and majority of my friends know to wear socks when they're around me because 
I get so grossed out by feet. Next question. What do you think about your high school years? I actually only went to high school for one year and that was grade nine. I was planning on going to high school in Canada. I was enrolled for grade 10 and then I came to LA and the plan was to come for only six months and then go back to Canada and go to school. That six months then turned into eight years. So based on the one year that I went to high school, I honestly didn't really like it. I loved school all the way up to grade eight. I would be upset if I missed a day of school. But for grade nine, I left all my friends and started at a new high school. It was a performing arts high school that I had to audition to get into. And it was fine, but people can be so mean. There was a lot of drama in the one year that I was there and bullies. And when I moved to LA and started online school, I was definitely grateful that I didn't have to deal with mean people anymore. But I guess that's kind of a lie because there's mean people everywhere, but at least I didn't have to see them every single day. Have you gotten back into dating or planning to focus on you for a bit? Um, hold on, let me get my lashes on because I can't lash and talk at the same time. Okay, lashes are on. To answer this question, honestly, I feel so happy where I am in my life right now. And I found the love in focusing on myself and just worrying about myself and being independent. I'm also surrounded by my best friends ever and I'm just really happy. But I have no expectations for anything. I think that everything happens for a reason and I'm just letting life kind of take the wheels here and I'm going with the flow. What is your experience working in the music industry? Um, I've been in the industry for a lot of years now and I've gone through a lot. I've had some really terrible and traumatic experiences, but I've also been able to work with amazing people. It's hard when you go through something rough because you kind of lose your passion because you don't want to deal with something like that again. So I think it's just really important to be weary and to be in this industry, you kind of have to know when to walk away from things, even if they seem amazing. Um, just for your own mental health. But where I'm currently at, I am very grateful and I feel very blessed and lucky. And I feel like I've gotten through a lot of hard stuff and we're still here, so we're doing good. What is one thing you miss about Canada? Besides my family, I would have to say Tim Hortons and poutine and ketchup chips and snow. I can't really choose one thing. Okay, makeup is done and that was my end of the year juicy q and I've got lots more videos coming this month. I post every Saturday, so make sure you guys are subscribed and give this video a big old like for spilling the tea. Go stream my new song, Poker Player. It'll be linked down below and you guys can also join my members where I post exclusive videos and content. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!